I think their music, first and foremost, is tied together by their respective approaches to jazz and their fundamental, fundamental understanding of what jazz is. Um, Bill talks about in a 1966 interview uh, with his brother that, uh, and this is uh, the part of the quote that's in, in your program that comes from this interview, uh, that he thinks of jazz not as a style of music, but as a process of music, a spontaneous creative process. Uh, and he explains that it's the process of making one minute's music in one minute's time, whereas when you compose, uh, you can take many months to, to write music that's going to take one minute to play. Uh, and so this definition of jazz is, is a process that focuses on the experience of impro improvising and the concept of making music at the moment. Now Chick was able to kind of draw this on this from Bill's music, and he talks a lot about uh, his hesitance to apply labels to music, to classify music into, into specific genres. Um, so in, in one interview he says that he finds it slippery to start to put musical experiences into neatly named categories, such as jazz, classical, Latin, etc. So, um, so these two ideas of, of jazz as a process and as a music that can't be categorized, uh, I think really focus in on, on one idea, and that is freeing the musician uh, in his or her playing and particularly in regards to improvisation. Uh, they both remove restrictions that are associated with music and that allow a, perform and, and allow a performer to focus on the sound of the music in the moment uh, without being caught up in uh, what style they should be playing. It's more about listening, communicating with the other people uh, in the group. Uh, so that's kind of the, the idea behind the theme of this recital along with kind of using these songs to trace the path of Bill and Chick's career careers. Um, our next song is going to be a tri trio performance uh, called Comrade Conrad. It's a Bill Evans composition. Uh, and what you'll notice is that it, it does something that, that Bill does on a lot of his tunes. He'll do it in Waltz for Debbie later in the program. Um, one of the songs I did in my junior recital, uh, the trio piece we did there, he did it as well, was he switches between three, four time, da, 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 and four, four time, da, 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 da kind of swing and feel. Um, so you'll hear that in the song. We're gonna on some of the recordings that I that I heard of this song. Uh, he did the the melody, the in, um, intro of the t the head of the tune, the melody. Yep, yeah, those aren't good. Uh, for those of you who thought that my stories would be more abbreviated on stage, not the case. I'm always handy <laughs> <laughs> music. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we're gonna we're gonna start with the the head playing in three four time. 4-4 uh, four, four time, and then in 3-4, but then for the solos we're going to switch it so the beginning half of the tune will be in the opposite time signature. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. It's Comrade Time. <laughs> Thank you. 
piece comes back into the melody uh, on the uh, way out of the tune, there's going to be uh, a, a movement back towards uh, the original Phil Evans version, or not the original the song, but the where, place where this arrangement starts. Uh, and on this piece, we're going to welcome Nate Ward on trumpet and Scott Clemens on alto sound.
next piece is called Friends. Uh, it's the title track of Chick Corea's 1978 record. Uh, I discovered this song in high school. Uh, it's light, it's fun, it's been one of my favorites since then. Uh, Chick played on an electric keyboard for this song, and I do that as well. Uh, hope you enjoy it. It's called Friends. Uh, 